How to Paint Your Toenails Neatly Nail Care Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by cleaning off your nail plates, and if you don't have any polish on, just use rubbing alcohol, and if you do have polish on, use polish remover. So this is just removing oil and debris. So then I'm going to be separating my toes, and you can use anything you like. Um, you can The easiest things are to use either a rolled up piece of tissue, or you can use toe separators. The next thing you want to do is to apply a thin layer of base coat to each of your toenails and this is very important for a couple different reasons. One, applying base coat is going to make your polish go on much smoother and it's going to also prevent your nails from staining from dark polish or green. Green also stains quite often and it's also going to make it last a little longer. So you want to make sure that you don't skip the base coat. So now I'm going to be getting out my color of polish and I'm using a sort of a dark pink berry color and you want to remove the majority of the polish from the brush just leaving a little drop on the very end of it. So then place the brush about a quarter inch away from your cuticle and then sort of push it up against your cuticle and don't actually touch your cuticle just go just leave a very small gap and then brush it down towards the tip. So repeat this until your entire toenail is filled and this is basically just a step for the big toenails since the smaller ones are too small to do this. And it does depend on how your toenails are. Some people have really big toenails on all their toes, some people have just really small toenails all around. So you can sort of change this up just so that it fits for you. And if you get polish on your skin like I just showed, you can very easily take your thumbnail and just like wipe it off. Um, if you're not comfortable doing that, I'll show you another way of removing it later on in the video. So now you can do the smaller ones and that's almost more of like a dabbing motion. And when I do this, I like to pull down the skin in front of my toenail so that I don't get any polish in front of it. And then another way to remove the polish from around your skin is to use a cotton bud that is soaked in polish remover and you can just sort of twirl it around the nail and it'll take off the polish really easy like an eraser. And then the last thing you want to do is apply a layer of top coat. This is going to add a really nice shine to your nails and make them dry a little quicker and last longer just like the base coat. Then apply some cuticle oil and this is going to just make your nails look healthier and the skin around your nails look healthier for a longer amount of time. And also give just a little bit of protection on the polish that is still a little wet. So then to remove your toe separators, Pull your toes out to the side and then push the separator down with your other finger. Wait about 10 or 15 minutes and then test the polish to see if it's dry by tapping your fingernail against it very gently and if it sticks at all, you need to wait another five minutes and test again. If it feels dry and doesn't stick, you are all set to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my tutorial. Please comment with any questions on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or in the comment box and I will see you in my next video.